that song. A second. We need to start from the beginning. Sorry about that. Can you back it up to uh, Lonely Girl, please? There you go. All right.
that's pretty crazy. Give me one second, and I got a mic tangle. So today we are uh, featuring music from Sean Armitage. He is a uh, kind of an underground dude. He does a lot of electronic and guitar stuff, and he uh, does a special service for the drumming community. Every single track that he does, he makes a drumless version, and I have been playing his stuff for <sighs> about three years. And, you know, that song was called Lonely Girl. A lot of fun. I really get into stuff that's under 100 beats per minute because you can really lay back and just relax and not have to put too much energy into the song. Helps me be able to play more, honestly. So we have about five more tunes, and in between each song we'll have time for uh, questions and comments and stuff, so I'll be paying attention to the chat. If you want to ask anything or say anything, just throw it in there, and I will... Uh, take a look in between each song and have one adjustment to my in-ears and then we'll go ahead with the next song Thank you. 
That song is called Green is Gold. Let's see what we got in the chat here. Hey guys, looks like we got Vintage Java, the wife, <laughs> who is doing a great job as a producer. I see the daddy drums is noticing the flamingo. You are inspiring, my friend. It, that was like totally your thing, and I am copying you. <laughs> That's I. I don't know what it is with me, but I got this thing for stuffed animals. <laughs> they just randomly appear in my videos. I think there was one where I had like three frogs on my e drum rack at one time. Anyhow, again, that song was called Green is Gold. The interesting thing about that one is I've done that song twice on my channel. When I first discovered it, somebody was commenting that it had a nice halftime feel. So my first time, I played it in halftime and recorded it, put it up on my channel, and then my wife challenged me some months later that if I wanted something new to do, I could take a song and completely redo how I play the drums. And then you got the version I just played, which was in full time or double time or whatever. I really don't know what the drums are for that song, but I honestly just like to make everything my own anyway, so sometimes I don't... Um, listen to the original track. I just wing it, and if I like it, then I move forward. Otherwise, I just redo what I did, and sometimes that means the songs get played differently, but it's still a lot of fun. Gremlins. Your children. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, that's enough chatter out of me. I've run on too much anyway. Let's do another song.
time for more yakking from me. That song was called number three, If Thought is Life. That's one of those things where you just the chorus comes in, you can't help but at least smile on the inside when you're playing it. It's just such a huge boost in dynamics. I absolutely love that too. And I think I featured that on my channel on YouTube. two, three years ago. I'm not really sure. Anyhow, another fun one. I, I could I could play Sean Arbiter's mu or Thomas's Sean Arbiter's mu blah, I can't talk. I could play Sean's music all day, just repeating all the songs he does. I think I've done nine of them and there's so many more that I want to purchase and just jam to. So you're probably gonna see this guy in some of my other streams later on. I may make some track sing with some other stuff. Let's see, look at the chat here. Anyhow, doesn't look like we have any questions. I guess we'll keep on jamming. Let's hit that next track. <laughs> Thank you. 
That one is called When It Comes. I think I did that one, oh, an eternity ago. When I first played it, my wife heard it, and she said, that sucks. You got to redo it. It's bad. The mix was bad. The drums were bad. We had the wrong drum heads, the wrong cymbals. Everything was just bad. But sometimes, you know, I just I, I, I don't have a better idea, so I just throw out whatever things I have on my channel so I can, I don't know, have something to look at and work on. So I think I did that one justice this time. I have better equipment and all that, so hopefully you all liked it. Let's see what we got in the chat. Arcade games. Okay, uh, hopefully we can jump into that and watch uh, that stream from Daddy. Anyhow, anyone that's uh, showed up or still with us, I appreciate you coming by. It's really cool to hang out and talk to each other and jam on the drums and generally just have fun. It's a lot of fun doing this. Anyhow, uh, we have two more songs for you, and we're going to do them back-to-back -back and maybe talk a little bit at the end. Let's have some Arnold. The fourth gauge autoloader. That's Italian. That's Italian. Italian. The forty five long slide. We play the tiny. That's a good Anything else? Please, plasma rifle in a 40 watt range. Hey, just what you see now.
Sorry, a little change in program there. I wanted to make one comment about that song before moving on. That was my first time playing that on camera. <laughs> that was kind of rough, but you know what? It's kind of cool to have stuff like that where a guy grabs a movie clip and loops it through the whole song, <laughs> especially when it's Terminator. <laughs> I have never seen anything or heard anything like that before. I wonder, I wonder how he managed to get permission to do that, but I'm glad he did. Anyhow... Let's look at the chat. Okay. Again, if anyone's still on here and you got any questions or anything, please type them in the chat, and I will certainly do my best to answer them. We have one more track for you. Let's go ahead.
I could probably play that song five times in a row and just have a lot of fun with that. That was Isolation Daydream. Again, for those still with us, all those songs were written and recorded and all that by um, Sean Arbitage Music. I think we put the Bandcamp link up in the stream, but if you just look for Sean Arbitage Music on Bandcamp, you'll find all of his stuff. He's got originals on there with um, all the instrumentation, and he's got all kinds of ba drumless backing tracks for you guys to jam to or whatever. It's just absolutely amazing to have that unique of music fully mixed, but the drums were pulled out so you don't have to make your own tracks. Anyhow, I want to thank everyone for showing up and for your support, and I hope to see you hopefully probably next weekend when we stream again. Thanks for coming by.